Researchers say they were horrified when they discovered that for the first time, mass bleaching had affected the Great Barrier Reef in consecutive years. When it bleaches, the coral isn't dead, but it begins to starve and can eventually die. The reefs, though, are resilient, but what concerns scientists is that more frequent bleaching, which is caused by rising water temperatures, makes it harder for the coral to recover. Last year, uh, the northern third of the, of the reef bleached severely, and this year, the central uh, third of the reef has bleached severely. Um, it's not irreparable, but it does depend whether we have more of these uh, mass bleaching events occurring in, in, the, in the next few years. And looking at the global warming trajectories, we would expect that. There's evidence the bleaching is moving south into areas that have previously been unaffected by the degradation. The Great Barrier Reef Marine Park is about the size of Italy or Japan and is so big it can be seen from outer space. The research team is warning that to save one of nature's true wonders, Australia must take decisive action on climate change. The government in Canberra has acknowledged that global warming was the biggest long-term threat facing the reef and has promised to protect it. The question is, can the future of this unique wonderland be guaranteed before it's too late? Phil Mercer, BBC News, Sydney.